I just I just got on the um, my weather the weather channel site and, and uh, I thought you know there's got to be something major change in the weather and it has dropped like crazy it is just it's way low it hardly ever gets this low um, and I feel um, I, I feel really really heavy I mean almost almost to a point where I just feel really relaxed I haven't felt this way in a long time almost I know I, um, when the pressure drops you, you, there's less oxygen in the air and it's it's very humid outside or not humid it, it's very dry um, but um, there was a a gal on here um, Heidi was saying something about when when the pressure is really low she feels really heavy and that was about well, I think it was around the first of the first of April like it is now probably around a full moon um, so that could have something something to do with it but yeah I feel I feel really heavy I'm almost drowsy um, it, re it re reminds me of almost like the feeling when I drink. I would be really, just really drunk. But I haven't drank for two and a half years, so maybe it wasn't the alcohol that was making me feel that way at that time. But probably was. But, <laughs> but it is really low. And I feel so... Just... Drowsy. I can't even talk. And it, and also it could have something to do. With, we had a, um, a family member, uh, not a family member, a close friend of the family, um, died today, and uh, he was supposed to move here, and but he died before, I guess, while he was getting ready, and. Uh, We've been waiting for him and waiting for him, and he just didn't show up and trying to call. And so we had his sister go go check, and uh, she did find him. He was he had died in bed, and that could have a lot to do with my feeling really a lot of sorrow, and a lot of sadness. But I I felt this way before that, but I think it's maybe enhanced it a bit. It's, it's really sad because we've been waiting for him to come here and, and we found they found him dead in bed. And uh, it's sad. You, you, you never know. You never know when when it's your time. And uh, you know, sometimes you just have to prepare it try to prepare yourself you can never prepare yourself for for a loved one's death but it sure makes you think about a lot of things mm -hmm.